I'm going to talk. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. Um, basically, it's a, it's a clip of his mom. And she just she just talking so much about how much she protect him. So she just says, my ride or die, I killed a mother F of over this one right here. I stand in front of a bullet on God over this. This is his mom talking. My son used to record my beating bitch's ass facts. I don't give a... If I... I boss up on teachers, principals, mamas, kids. I don't give a F you. Am I lying? <laughs> you have no reason. If you F on my kids, I'll beat up kids over my kid, okay? This little boy used to run. He was scared. I said, go get your bitch-ass mama. I would beat your whole family and then give up. They'd be like, Tyler, Tyler, mama crazy. Yep, don't F on my kids. So she got, he puts a clip of her on here. I was like, damn, she got his back, bro. Yeah. That, that mother love, man. You think that's a part of his success? Probably. He probably thinks, like, yo, like, my mom, I mean, in my head, it was like, yo, my mom went to bat for me, so I'm going to do what I got to do. And, like, uh, in um, Massa, I think he brings up the fact that during his, his first album, his mom was living in the shelter. Like, he, he, like, his album, like, he got signed in his album, did wonders, and he, he got rich and famous while his mom was still living in the shelter. Mm. And he brought her out of poverty. So it's like, yo, like, yeah, he probably thinks, like, yo, um, yo, I, my mom wrote for me, so now I'm going to make sure she's straight for life. Mm. And you think that, like, that is what, like, I mean, do you, is that common, you think? Like, people have their moms, like, have their back? Because, like, I, a lot of times, like, there's parents who, like, not have your back. They actually do the opposite. Like, yeah. if you get in trouble, they're like, what you did? You know, they put the blame on you right away. Like, a lot of parents do that. Like, growing up, it's like, you did, the teacher calls me, like, what'd you, what'd you mess up on now? Yeah, I mean, it, it depends. It depends on the, so what do you, what do you think the, what do you think the right way to go about that is? It's like, do you have your child's back throughout everything, even when they're wrong? I don't know, man. It's a tough question. That's why when I heard his mama speak, I was like, you know, it's kind of interesting. And then to hear that kind of like that ego and confidence he has and like the success he's seen is that I was thinking maybe the fact that his mom had his back so hard gave him that safety, you know, and security, knowing that like I have someone to cover me, even if I mess up. And I do think that's important because <clears throat> maybe you messed up still. So I do think it's important that your kids have that you have your kids back. But then again, obviously you say to yourself, if your kids think that you always can have their back, then they might go around they, mess, yeah, messing, messing up around. Because they know you always gonna have their back. Yeah. But I i I kinda tend to feel like <clears throat> if you do both, like if in front of people you protect your your family, but with your kid you kinda be straight honest, but yo, what what happened? What'd you do? Like what's the truth here? Mm. You know? But I think if your kid knows that I think what's the most important thing is that Tyler Creator had someone who has his back. And I think it's important for any kid to have that. To know, like, okay. Because imagine, like, you growing up, right? And especially you grew up in poverty, right? Like, your mom and your dad, like, like you don't have nobody. Like, the school systems, everything, like, the society is all against you. Set up to It's set up to, like, put you down. And then your mom and dad, the only two people you have as your security, they don't have your back. Like, they, they're walking away from you. Like, nah, you, you better just do everything right. Don't mess up. Da, da, da. And then if you get into trouble, you motherfucker, you messed up. You got nothing. You got no security. You, got, you feel like you got nothing. That's how I look at it.